Hi, JD here on a uh, Friday. Thank God it's Friday. And uh, Gail, your well, partner in crime. Partner in crime. I, uh, well. I thought I'd, yeah, I'd, I'd just end the week on a silly story. Gail and I, uh, last week, uh, just took a bit of a quick road trip up the Queensland coast from where we live on the Gold Coast and uh, just to check out the hotels in our Fun Escapes um, business uh, incentive program. And uh, there's a few funny things. We got uh, four, uh, flat, four flat tyres and uh, we had to be towed into a little country town and they took a week to go and find the tyres because they had to bring them in from Mars or <laughs> Jupiter or somewhere. And then the other thing was is that we got a rent a car and of course uh, just our luck, the rent a car uh, was parked outside a hotel one night and it was defaced by some idiot that got drunk at midnight and sprayed red paint down the side of the rent a car. So Avis was very happy about having me as a client. But there was another beauty, wasn't there? Oh. <clears throat> This is a classic. Now, I've been running around doing seminars and webinars and stuff for quite a while now. And I th when you do seminars for a little while, you get to, I don't know what the word would be, hate people. <laughs> uh, so anyway, because you just get dickhead questions from people saying, oh, you know, do you think I should put a sign outside my shop? <laughs> Let me think. Yeah, maybe you should, you moron. <laughs> anyway, so therefore, I say to God, when we do duck away for any of these breaks, look, just don't put me anywhere near people. I don't want to be on a bus. I don't want to be on a boat. I don't want to be anywhere where even a crowded restaurant, let's just get takeaway. So anyway, um, she decides to have a little boat trip, a catamaran trip, uh, to cross to where Lady Musgrave Island, Island, and it's up near, I don't know, Agnes Waters or something. And so therefore, uh, she surprises me with this, and we've got to be there at seven o'clock in the morning with a hundred other people to get on this boat to go across to this island. Now, I live on the Gold Coast, and I thought it was just like Kerr and Cove, where you well, go across so 20 I, minutes, actually. 20 minutes across the island, you have a few beers at the pub, and maybe a bit of lunch, and you jump back on the boat and go, no, no, this is a two and a half hour trip squashed into this catamaran with a hundred other people, um, 92 of which were coughing. They were coughing. And uh, anyway, so therefore, um, I said to her, why did you do this? So of course, you know, the people on the boat decide that they've got to be Disney style, so they come up and start talking to you. When I just want to put my, I just want to go to sleep for two hours and end up at the island. Guess what? We get to the island, it's uninhabited. There's no one lives on this damn island. It's full of birds. It's a bird sanctuary. And so therefore, the guy who's in the car key, Steve Irwin outfit, taking us around, telling us what the birds were, it's a yellow-tailed, you know, pink-beaked, you know, seagull or something. I mean, oh, come on, just kill me. And uh, birds are shooting on our heads, of course, as well, as you're walking through the forest. I mean, it was just ridiculous, right? <laughs> and you wonder why we've got a marriage crisis. She makes me go through all of this stuff. G'day, Brett, Brett Chemist. Anyway, so therefore, we go on this, like, three-quarter of an hour walk through this nature freaking island, and at the other side of it, we wait for the little boat to take us back to the catamaran because you have to get off the catamaran and then onto a little glass bottom boat and then you've got to get do Vicky Verka when you come back and the lady there was a girl who was an apprentice uh, to Steve Irwin on this particular thing and so she's dressed up in the khaki outfit as well and uh, it was her first day on the job so when he's pointing out all the stupid birds and you know these people in our group are you know partly interested I was not interested at all um, she's taking notes and uh, she explained to everyone it was on her first day so therefore she was all excited I think she was British wasn't she she was about 23 24 and the main guy the Steve Irwin guy was probably 40 ish anyway so uh, we get to wait for our little you know sort of glass bottom boat to take us back again and one little child finds a little turtle okay a little baby turtle and it's very cute and it was like this let me just show you give me a second uh, <laughs> it was like that that's not Gail's very hand cute. but that's it okay yeah, it's amazing cute. what you can do with Google images all right so therefore uh, she goes oh let's let the little turtle go into the sea where it belongs so it was just sitting on the beach and uh, all the kids in the group, you know, there was 20 or 30 of us around and went, oh yeah, thank you. So she goes and puts it in the water and it's flapping around and, <laughs> and guess what happens? You got it. Let me just show you. This thing comes along and it plucks it out of the water and eats the turtle, right? Everybody's in shock. The kids are screaming, she killed the turtle, she killed the baby turtle. What happened? She put it in the water and she turned around to us and said, you know, to the group, that's what you do. You put little turtles in the water. This bird comes down, shoop, and picks it up and flies away, right? A couple of the other sarcastic fathers in the group could see that, you know, it was just so far. We were all pissing ourselves, laughing, of course. Kids and every one of us, our kids were crying. Mm -hmm. uh, we're asking each other, all the blokes who've got 
you know, lots of tolerance for really weird things like this. Did you capture it on your camera? Did you capture it on your camera? No, we missed it. Funny part gets better. Guess what? Another group comes along <laughs> with a female, you know, Steve Irwin in the khaki outfit, and they've just finished their tour as well. And uh, one of the children in our tour had picked up a second turtle and comes up to our girl who killed the first one and basically <laughs> basically said, look, I found another one, I found another one. Well, the girl from the other group, you know, the other catamaran says, excuse me, I said, your, your group, any of the children in this group, you're not allowed to pick up any turtles. And this kid's just picked up the other one and goes, well, we did pick up one a moment ago and she killed it. <laughs> and the poor girl that was an apprentice goes, I didn't kill it. I didn't realise there was a seagull. Yeah? And uh, and then, of course, the it was on for young and old there. These two khaki, you know, sort of dressed girls are at each other going, you're not allowed to pick up the turtles. It the was kids just were the kids were crying. Yeah, the, the girl. Are the, the, yeah, we were pissing us. <laughs> the girl actually said to us, um, who made the mistake of putting it in the water, she said to me, "Well, one thing's for sure: there's no turtle going to come anywhere near." I said, "No turtle. Have a look at the kids. There's no kids coming anywhere near here. Right? <laughs> you are a murderer." <laughs> oh, it was so funny. Yeah. Oh, Gail's got another I've photo. Got here. This is this is, what is it looked like. this is what it looked like. <laughs> No, it didn't. That's Google <laughs> Images. I'm not that good a cameraman where I can say, oh, Seagull, come back down here again. We want to actually get an action close-up shot. Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, it was so funny, wasn't it? Yeah. It's, it's terrible. Anyway, I think, there you go. So that's probably, I don't know, maybe four, five, six minutes of your life. You're not getting, <laughs> you're not getting back again. But it's Friday, and it's TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. So I thought I'd just tell us a funny story. But you know that that story is merely a segue into mm. inviting you to click the link above me or below me here because you will go through to our Fun Escapes website where if you own a business, you can actually get uh, four, uh, four night holidays at beautiful four-star resorts all around Australia for $97 and you can give them away to your customers. So in other words, if you're flogging a refrigerator, you can say, buy my refrigerator and I will give you a free four-night holiday. Mostly for families. I mean, uh, pretty much most of the resorts will accept two children under 12 in the same room. Most room. of them will. It would be no good for us. We had six <laughs> children. They're all left home now. They're millennials. We but did we had, we had six, six children. So therefore, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, all the hotels obviously are for two people but for most of them they will allow you to have two children in the room as well so if you own a business mm -hmm. click that link above me or below me here and you can have a look at how this whole thing works but it's the happy meal toy from heaven at the moment because if you ask any business owner what would turn on prospective customers to buy from them whether it's a solar system or with a refrigerator or washing machines or motor cars or you know anything then of course you know the biggest i reckon the most popular happy meal toy on the planet at the moment would be to get away from home and have a holiday and you can give them a holiday that's worth about, about I say a thousand to twelve hundred dollars because if it's a four night holiday in a four star resort, normally it's you know two fifty three hundred dollars a night. So multiply that by four, you've got yourself a thousand twelve hundred dollar uh, Happy Meal toy that you're giving them for actually buying your product or using your service. So if you want details about that, click the link above. And there's plenty of destinations, Australian destinations. Mm. Um, if you're, you're in New you're, Zealand, New Zealand destinations. You're just saying that so you are contributing to this whole flog fest, aren't you? Yeah, okay. But there are. Thank you, Gail, for prompting me on that. There's Port Douglas and Gold Coast, and there's Airlie Beach, and there's the Great Ocean Road in Melbourne, and Adelaide and Perth and Darwin, and it goes on and on and on. Yep. Okay. Uh, I think Hurstful is in there too. <laughs> you can go to Hurstful, or you can go to Punchbowl. Punchbowl is in there. Uh, no, it's not. Okay, uh, have a uh, good weekend. It, well, here I am saying that um, I, I hate people, but I'm just going to say to them, have, have a good, good weekend. weekend. Yeah. I mean, you can be nice sometimes. There's a depth to my shallowness. Yeah. Okay, have a good weekend. But, See you uh, later.